Ann showed up, and I think it, you had the kids with you, and Pastor Johnny was leading the music for our service together with his ukulele. <laughs> and Mike felt sorry for him. <laughs> and after the service, I don't know if it was the first or second, after a couple of services, Mike offered to help him lead the music. <laughs> and from that point on, Mike has been our music praise team worship leader all those years, all of this, 32 year plus years now, Mike, 32 years plus, it's amazing. And I have learned a lot from Mike, and Mike has encouraged me and inspired me. I mean, here's a guy who was driving a truck for a living, and he's up front, and he's sharing with the music, and he's talking about Augustine, and sharing from Pascal's Pensees, and, and a host of other things. He reads and reads and reads. I love that. And Mike has always shared stuff that is really meaningful and helpful in our services, and I know that you know that. I know. It's a group of incredible people we have here. And we've had, as has been mentioned, strong leadership in our elder teams, our deacon teams, our point persons, the leading ministries and for the team members in various ministries. Cornerstone is in, as God did from his. Let us therefore strive to enter that rest. We won't have that entered until he comes, the Lord comes, or we are taken to meet with him, whichever comes first. We do not retire. Some things do not change with retirement. I'm going to read a few passages from 2 Corinthians chapter 2 and chapter 3 and chapter 4. Not all of it, just a few <laughs> verses here. Chapter 4, verse 2, verse 14. But thanks be to God, who in Christ always leads us in triumphal procession, and through us spreads the fragrance of the knowledge of him everywhere. For we are the aroma of Christ to God among those who are being saved and among those who are perishing. To the one a fragrance from death to death and to the other a fragrance from life to life. Who is sufficient for these things? We're dealing with matters of life and death. And that's why we need to be the church now more than ever because we are dealing with matters of life and death, our nation is dealing with matters of life and death. Your neighbors, our neighbors are doing that. And so Paul asked, who is sufficient for these things with the message of God? Well, we are not, Paul goes on to say, like so many peddlers of God's word, but as men of sincerity, as commissioned by God, in the sight of God, we speak in Christ. Some things do not change in dealing with matters of life and death. Retirement doesn't change it. I think it brings you a bit closer to the, the reality of that, if anything. In the next chapter, verses 2 and 3, you yourselves, Paul is directing this to the Corinthian church that he spent much time with and agonized over a lot. But he said to them, you yourselves are our letter of recommendation written on our hearts to be known and read by all. And you show that you are a letter from Christ delivered by us, written not with ink, but with the spirit of the living God, not on tablets of stone, but on tablets of human hearts. What doesn't change with retirement is the commendation of ministry in which there are changed lives. You yourselves our letter of recommendation written on our hearts to be known and read by all. That's you. That's the Cornerstone family who's ever been a part of it for the last, from the beginning. Thessalonians chapter 2, verses 19 to 20. Paul tells the Thessalonian church, a church that was young, but he loved them dearly. For what is our hope, our joy, our crown of boasting before our Lord Jesus Christ at his coming? Is it not you? For you are our glory and joy. That's 
important combination.